A really easy way to integrate SureCart with Fluent CRM is using a completely free plugin made by Thrive Themes. It's called Thrive Automator. Thrive Automator can be found where you would normally find new plugins. You just go to Plugins, Add New, and do a search for Thrive Automator. Uh, go ahead and install that and then activate it. And then go to Thrive Automator. I get there by going to the Thrive Dashboard and then clicking Thrive Automator. And think of Thrive Automator like kind of like a Zapier plugin for WordPress. If you're not familiar with it at all, I actually have a lot of videos here on my channel all about it. Now to connect SureCart to Fluent CRM using Thrive Automator, we need to create what's called an automation. So if you're using this for the first time, you'll create your first automation. And think of it functioning like triggers and then actions. So a trigger would be something like a product is sold or a subscription is activated or a membership is purchased inside of SureCart. So when you come into your new automation, you can see that we have a trigger here in the center and we have SureCart right here. Now, in order to see SureCart here, or if you don't see it, you need to have SureCart installed. And in fact, you need to have your product created as well. We're just going to make that connection between SureCart and Fluent CRM. So go ahead and choose SureCart. That is our trigger. And you have a couple of options. A product or subscription is purchased. This will work either way. A purchase is revoked or a subscription cancels. This is like a refund happens or someone cancels their membership. A subscription plan is changed. This one's interesting because you can upgrade and downgrade subscriptions inside of SureCart. And then an admin unrevokes a purchase. Let's say you took something away from somebody but then gave it back to them. That can also be a trigger. Now for our tutorial here, we're gonna go through a really simple one and that's the one that's going to apply to the vast majority of you, which is that a product or a subscription is purchased. We'll click on that. Now, instead of always trigger, I suppose you could use this if no matter what, whenever somebody purchased something or subscribed to something, you had whatever you wanna do happen in Fluent CRM. Um, but this is less common. What's more common is to trigger it based on a particular product. So in this case, we're going to choose product. We're deciding when this should happen. What should trigger being added to Fluent CRM? So we're gonna choose product and then we're going to choose our different products. Here on my website, I have one called membership. This is a product in SureCart that I called membership. This could easily be product XYZ, widget one, two, three, et cetera. Select your product once you have found it and then click done. So now our trigger is completed. Our product or subscription membership, it's just the name, is purchased. Now what do I want to happen? Well, I wanna add another action and I want to have them added to Fluent CRM. To do that, Thrive Automator has included Fluent CRM under email. Clicking on email, you can see that we have the ability to add our user in our autoresponder or tag them in our autoresponder. I like to use add user in autoresponder, and then we can select Fluent CRM. Again, if you don't see this, you need to have Fluent CRM installed. And I recommend that you also have tags or lists created based on how you want to organize your subscribers. So go ahead and select Fluent CRM. And then you have the option here to add them to a list. I'm going to choose my all contacts list. I usually recommend you have fewer lists and more tags. That's typically how I teach uh, email marketing organization because I come from more of the active campaign background. An area that's often missed is the field mapping. If I drop this down here, you can see that we have the ability to map values. So we could map something like the name and the name can then be mapped from our uh, registered user data. So when SureCart creates a user, it actually adds them as a WordPress user as well. So we can come in here and we can find the user first name, uh, things like that. You can add as many fields as you want. Now under opt-in, you can choose single or double. Fluent CRM does give you the option. I typically choose single for me. And then for tags, here's where you're going to input the tag that you created for them. So my product was called membership. So I'll just say that my tag is also called membership. And then I'll hit enter so that it drops down and appears here as a tag. Once I've finished adding in all of my tags here, I'll go ahead and click done. Okay, to review, I have my product. Whenever this product is purchased, the product is membership. The user gets added into my autoresponder. Which one? Fluent CRM. Which list? My all contacts list. It's a single opt-in and it's going to tag them under membership. Now, what happens if I chose the other option? I will click add option. I'll click email. I'm just going to show you. You wouldn't do this, but I'll click tag in autoresponder. And here we can choose Fluent CRM. And you'll notice that we are not adding the user to any lists or we're not adding the user's first name. This would typically be uh, an action that you would use if the user, or if you at least knew for sure the user would already be inside of Fluent CRM and you just wanted to tag them. We'll go ahead and delete that one because that's a little less common. 
Now, adding to Fluent CRM is complete. And for those that are also using something like Thrive Apprentice, which is a course platform, you could at this point add additional actions, such as adding them to a Thrive Apprentice course and taking any additional actions that you want within the same automation. There's no need to create multiple automations unless you want to. But for this, let's say that our automation is complete. Let's go ahead and give it a name. I like to be a little bit descriptive with mine and I would say uh, Surecart membership, right? Surecart, my product name to Fluent CRM, something like that. And then go ahead and hit enter. And then if you wanted to make it active, you could select active in the upper right, but I'll show you, you don't have to. You can leave it inactive, click save and finish. And when you're ready to make it active, you can just click where it says inactive here on the right hand side, click that and you'll see that it is now active. Easy enough, right? That's all there is to connecting Surecart and Fluent CRM without the need for any webhooks or paid products or anything else. Thrive Automator has taken care of creating an awesome integration with Fluent CRM and Surecart has already created that integration with Thrive Automator. So we have a very lightweight, easy to use plugin right on our website that can get the job done. If you have any questions, I encourage you to check out the rest of the videos here on my channel. Feel free to leave a comment or visit me at Convology.com where I have a lot of other tutorials on both Surecart and Thrive Automator.